Xi Jinping was last in Hong Kong in 2017 to mark the 20th anniversary of the territory's return from British to Chinese rule. This visit will be his first known trip outside mainland China since January 2020. Until a few days ago, there had been uncertainty over whether he'd be coming at all. This followed an increase in COVID infections with two senior Hong Kong government officials among the latest cases. But at the weekend, Chinese state-controlled media confirmed she would be attending the ceremony on Friday, although it didn't clarify whether he'd be doing so in person or virtually. I'm confident that the authorities in Hong Kong, together with the security arrangements for the Chinese president, will make sure that the ceremony will proceed safely and uh, there will be no real threat to the safety and security of the Chinese president and his entourage. To shield China's president from the risk of infection, Hong Kong government officials will have to quarantine ahead of Friday's swearing-in ceremony. A ceremony taking place close to streets where three years ago mass protests took place against China's growing influence here. On July the 1st, 2019, demonstrators smashed their way into the local legislature. China's leaders eventually responded to the unrest by implementing a national security law that's led to the arrest of more than 180 people, including elected politicians and activists. The Hong Kong authorities hope Xi's visit will prove the territory is a happier place now. A false picture, says one analyst. And so there is still this um, resentment alienation and hard feeling, I think, among many people in Hong Kong, but they won't be on the street demonstrating. This year marks the halfway point of Hong Kong's 50-year transition from British to Chinese rule. During this period, Hong Kong was promised its freedoms would remain unchanged, a promise that critics say has been undermined by China's harsh campaign against political dissent. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.